Hi and welcome to another video. Um, on this one we will be addressing pump fan noises. So if your computer is built with a 120mm AIO fan and you are hearing some noise on the pump itself, then this video will help alleviate that issue. And uh, we'll get started right now. Um, this is basically for the Siege Azure and any uh, any other builds that has the 120 millimeter AIOs on it. So we'll start by taking the two thumb screws from the back so we can remove. Sorry about that. Remove the glass panel. To give you a better look, I will be moving it here. There we go. Let's get this in focus. Okay, so for, for the systems that's had the fan, uh, I mean the, the pump issues, the noise will be coming from here. It could be like a clicking noise or a gurgling noise, which means just the loop has some air trapped in it. Now, um, we are changing the way that it is built and configured so that the thing that I'm going to be doing now uh, will become standard on future build units. But for those of you who has their configurations like this, uh, we'll get started with how to solve that issue. Um, we'll start by taking off these uh, fan screws here. These are the long screws that connects the fan to the radiator. There we go. There will be four of them. Really helps if you have a long screwdriver to get into those places there. Once we get the screw out, you can just lay the fan here, like so. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to remove the four mounting screws on the back of the radiator. The ones that hold into the case. on your graphics card. There we go. Now what we want to do with this one is flip the radiator upside down. So any air bubbles that comes out of the pump travels here, moves up to this channel and gets trapped up here. Okay, so that it doesn't go back to the pump. We don't want the pump as the high point of the loop to prevent any air bubbles from getting uh, stuck inside of the chambers in, in there. So, once we get that done, we'll put the screws back into the radiator, put it in place. This is really easy. This is a live do it video, so you can see it's not uh, too time consuming. Anybody with a good pair of screwdriver can get this done in about, I'd say five minutes. Okay. So the radiator is now mounted upside down back into the case. All that's left is to mount the fan again. Make sure the wiring goes to the back. So it still maintains that clean look. Put the long screws, match it onto the uh, threads and the radiator. There we go. Screw number three. can just try to like point these uh, uh, hoses out straight like that 
so it'll have an easier flow towards the radiator. And basically that is it. Power on your system. Uh, it may take a little while for the uh, for the system to like flow back in here and then push the air bubbles out and get them trapped up here. But this will be the most optimal way of configuring your all-in-one cooling to reduce the noise or eliminate it completely. Uh, it might help if uh, once your computer is powered on, just get us something like a wedge, put it up front, tilt it about this high, and let it run for about five or ten minutes. And that will help. Um, basically what you're doing is you're making these um, hoses here, that you're positioning them towards the top of the loop. So any air that um, gets trapped in here will exit out these things and gets trapped in here. Uh, apart from that, we can just reinstall the side panels, like so. Get the two screws in there, or at least try. <laughs> there we go, there's one. And two. Alright, um, this should take care of the issue for the noisy fan pumps. Um, if it still persists after a couple of days of using it, do let us know. We'll see what we can do for you. But like I said, this works for the Siege, the Azure, and any other models that are configured with one uh, 120 millimeter fan and radiator uh, cooling system. Well, I hope this helps. My name is Chris, and we will see you on the next video.